Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are back with a new episode of Dawson's Creek. This is episode five, and let's get into it. I say, Cape Side really is a bridge I should burn. Yes, you should, girl. You should burn this bridge. Get away. I just mad again. Right, you got away. What is with you? I mean, I already am. kids. Wait, I don't know. I don't think he knows she's a kid. They haven't yeah. specified. I'm assuming because they do look the same age right now. Got an extra pair of I'm just here to get a video, Pacey. Well, can I help you? Don't bother. I can help myself. If you can help yourself, then why did you come to this front desk? Okay, Andy. Andy, will you go out on a date? Would you like to go on a date with me tonight? So I don't usually pick somebody up, but then again, small town, so. Come on. They don't care. <laughs> He's driving the police car. They do not care if he has a license. <laughs> so you're not still mad at me, are you? What, for calling me a desperate loser? Gee, why should I be? Okay. Good, because I've been dying to tell somebody I've got a date with Vincent. Why would you think she would be happy for you? You bitch. <laughs> exactly. What? I'm warning you, back off. Yeah, old Vincent probably knows an easy lay when he sees one. Yeah. <laughs> don't ever talk to me again, ever. That, I, I wonder who the sound person was that made that sound. How did he make that sound? <laughs> that was hard. The rearranged the hairstyle and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Not so sensitive. <laughs> you know, got the, the Rachel from Friends all of a sudden. The feathers. <laughs> to a visiting quarter from the city. Happens every couple of months this time rather than going out. I thought I'd have him over here for dinner. Him. Yeah. Girl, bitch. <laughs> Some people are in, in this world. Men exist. It's work, bitch. It's work. You know, somehow, the fact that he's a co worker doesn't provide me much comfort. I wonder why. Oh. Oh. At least I have co workers. What does that mean? At least I have a job? I work, therefore, I have co workers. She calls you unemployed, bitch. <laughs> you know better than that. Oh, this is a roasted that you next. <laughs> Not her saying you were broke. <laughs> you broke. I feel like Gail was in the right. Like even though that was a low blow, but I feel like Mitch poked her. So I feel like yeah, she I agree. Point. She doesn't say sorry. You have said you're gonna forgive her. Like every time she say my coworker is a man, men exist. <laughs> like yeah, what? and then she's in the like definitely during this time where news anchor were predominantly men. So it's like come on. I cannot believe that you would hit me. Me, your best friend. Tell my best friend. Well, need I remind? You know what? Why don't you just go home? Oh, why? Is the dork from the docks coming to call in? Yes, he is. See you later. Oh, wow. You know your husband's crazy. I've been sitting on the other, other, uh... <laughs> Hi. I'm Not Mitch is over here trying to get his oh, look back. Please. Uh, <laughs> Please. Yes. Take a look. Gail, you bet's fine. You don't need to touch her back. There you go. Just a touch of milk. Thank you. Are you flirting with me again? I can stop. Well, where would the fun be in that? This area has excellent ventilation. I think that'd be a good place for the kitchen. In the middle of the worst snowstorm New England had seen in 40 years. What is your mom up to? Same as you. Same as who? Oh, nothing. Who are you fooling? It's clear what's going on here. You jump down my throat for having over a guest when it is obvious that your Thursday night escapades are overflowing into the weekend. All right, what's going on? What are Thursday nights? Boy, come on, contest clothes. Right? I'm planning on opening a restaurant, now you know this. And how are you going to buy the building? I got a loan, Gail. Well, that's good, because I am getting tired of indulging in the dreams of a man who can hardly look me in the eye. Oh, we got company. They always have to invite the people over. Do not invite me over when you have not marital family. problems. <laughs> I will be out of here tomorrow. You got enough drama. Not to me. First of all... <laughs> yeah. At that point, I would have been like, you know what? Here go these papers. Sign yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong at this point. At this point, Mitch... <laughs> I'm here for Andy. We have a date tonight. You must be Pacey. Who's Tim? Andy and Jack's older brother. He goes to Columbia. No, wait. Their older brother I thought was dead. Oh. Oh my god, the pump's down. 
Will them they them die immediately? Have an open relationship. You're having an open marriage. What's together? Oh. Yeah, I just don't understand her doing this in the house. Her grandma, the Bible said it can only be an hour or something like that. <laughs> the town ain't doing it in the kitchen. Like, oh, why would you, you still keep... go somewhere else? Gotta... <laughs> what happened when I just get into the good stuff? You're not sure. Come on, grandma. Her grandma definitely about to come home. Oh, I don't want to see it. It's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Not even God will be able to save you if you don't get your hands off my granddaughter right this instant. You know Graham's got a belt. You know she got a belt. <laughs> hey, um, what are you doing here? Listen, I'm sorry. I kind of got confused where I was supposed to pick you up, but don't worry. Your mom's being real cool about it. Look, you have no right to be here, okay? You were not See, this invited. is when you my just use your vicar words your and, and just explain the situation. Down a little bit. Oh, we're not leaving, okay? That's rude. Just tell him what it is. Like, don't want me to meet your own brother. Just tell her. Tim died. He's dead. Okay. You could have just been saying that he would have understood and then left. Oh my God, Jeff! Now y'all have fifty one oh four between y'all. Make sure you split that, Joey. She sure grabbed that out of your hand pretty quick. (laughs) Talk about we're rich and then just took a hundred, like. Look. <laughs> Come on, shot. I think Jack is gonna pull her to him. These people don't be pulling away quick enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have the <a> boyfriend. <laughs> that was very bold, Jack. We're attempting to heal some areas in our marriage. <laughs> you thought an open marriage was the answer. We wouldn't be in this position if you hadn't put us here. Y'all had this conversation I already. I can't apologize anymore. I agree, Gail. Yeah, you can't apologize anymore. It, you believe in them. She you don't does. Turn your back on them and jump into somebody else's bed. Dad. I'm sorry, Todd. Dad. You got to fix this. I'm not going to fix it. If my wife cheated on me. Yeah, he is. He's like, all about three. Yeah, he was the victim at first, but now he's done so, like, He's t- he's gotten his leg back. Gail has apologized. She's sorry. I'm never gonna do it again. Like, what else can she say? If you don't believe her, then you shouldn't be together. Yeah, like she said, she told you, if you're not gonna trust me, then we need to end this marriage now. You kept going. You decided to have this open marriage. Yeah, y'all could have just broke up, be good co-parents, and leave it at that. Now your son is frustrated. <laughs> I have that situation under control, okay? You don't have to get upset at me. Oh, I am not upset. The fact that you thought it was okay to, to even be doing that on my kitchen table. <laughs> yes. This period. behavior will not be tolerated. You will treat me with respect. And yeah, that's all period, Greg. Not under my roof and not in my lifetime. That's how you parent, gal, Mitch. I mean, only, no, I, I feel like Rather, the only I'm wrong, I feel like she wrong about is this is your grandma house and you decide to bring this grown man here first of all in here in my house in my kitchen i'm only gone for an hour how long do you think you <laughs> on the kitchen table my uh-huh. boyfriend jack you can't be too mad oh, not to look back <laughs> you know when to look back jack and i were fighting for tim's attention and um she didn't see the truck I don't want my mom to become the town gossip. I'm not saying what. I mean, they're going to find out eventually. Your mother can't be, like, locked in the house. Then she must be locked in the house if <laughs> somebody else found out now. Dad kind of bailed, and, um, he checks in once a week. Okay. Now you done taking on your problems, and they're going to be hit. I just love them. 
Yeah. I have come up the last. I can't go to the front now. It's your house. <laughs> it's crazy that they just went up a ladder instead of the front door. <laughs> <laughs> when is this house like? You know, let's just forget about everything. Okay. He was trying to tell you about what you want to do. Kissing her. I was just telling Joy. You know, I don't care what he's saying. I'm still gonna tell him. You ain't gonna call me a liar later. The eye says it all. What do you see? Come on, Bruce Green. I said that kiss meant something to her. She should have told him. It's time, Mitch. Thank goodness. I know. Like you said, like we said, and like Gail, like Mitch said, although Gail was like the original source of issues. I still stand by her. Yeah, I, I like mean, now, I, yeah, yeah. At the end, it was on Mitch because you made it an, more just just harder than it had to be. I just think Joey has so many, like, problems that Dawson don't ever ask about. You know what I mean? Like, Because that's what I said. Once, once Jack was like, why are you always angry? That changed everything for her because Dawson would never... Yeah, like she be there comforting him and everything. And he don't never, like, like we be dealing with his problems, his parents' marriage, blah, blah. My sister is at home with her baby by herself, dog. I gotta, I gotta go home. You know, like, and then I gotta row across the lake by myself. You don't even drive me, help me, nothing. And <laughs> we I'm, have a whole uh, motorboat at that. We be having money problems. Like, you don't, I don't know. Dawson, I don't, they don't ask enough. He don't ask enough about Joey's problem. We don't talk enough about her issues. Like, like why do you always when they get up there, <laughs> Literally, when they get up the stairs, she's trying to explain. She's like, Dawson, this night, he instantly, can we just forget everything? And then goes into all his problems. Like, but I blame Joey. Like, she invested too much of her, not invested, but because like she is invested. She but, too much of it, like her person, like she said, she didn't I require last, enough of him. She didn't require yeah, I think, nothing. I was gonna say, like last episode, like she said, who is Joey without Dawson? She doesn't know. So I feel like she put too much of her identity into Dawson. Yeah. So now that she's like his, like it's there's there was no separation once they become a couple. And I think that was the issue. They were still trying to be like best friends, but there was no like, okay, now that we're a couple, I can't be your everything. They gave everybody like their own thing this episode. So yeah. I thought it was good. Please let us know what you thought about the episode down below. Leave a comment. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Turn on post notifications and we will see you on our next video. Peace. Peace.